Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Air forces around the world need to react quickly in the event of a threat and mobilize military aircraft at a moment's notice. For this purpose, the U.S. Air Force conducts various readiness exercises to ensure that aircraft and their crews are fully prepared for operational missions. The readiness exercises vary depending on the type of aircraft and its mission requirements. When it comes to conducting readiness exercises for the F-35 aircraft, the U.S. Air Force has too much to offer. The mighty F-35 family consists of three variants, including F-35A, F-35B, and F-35C. All variants are single-seat aircraft with advanced avionics and performance characteristics. The F-35A is the conventional takeoff and landing variant, specifically designed for strike missions. It also has electric warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. The F-35B, on the other hand, has a vertical lift fan behind the cockpit and an engine that can change orientation to land vertically like a helicopter and take off from very short distances. Lastly, the F-35C has larger wings compared to the other two variants that can fold to allow it to be parked on aircraft carriers with other jets in close proximity. The fifth generation F-35s are critical for the U.S. Air Force to maintain air dominance against advanced aerial threats for now and for decades to come. The F-35s cannot be launched in the air without dedicated crews on the ground, which ensures fuel is at the ready and the armament is available to load onto the aircraft. After ensuring that each aircraft system is functional, the ground crews give a green signal for takeoff. The pilot takes a final look at the aircraft's exterior, hops into the cockpit, and taxi towards the runway for takeoff. On May 1, 2019, the U.S. Air Force conducted the Integrated Combat Exercise to practice the pre-flight procedures at Hill Air Force Base, Utah. During the exercise, the maintenance crews were tasked to provide ready aircraft continually, and pilots took off in waves to simulate a large force engagement with enemy aircraft. Sometimes the U.S. Air Force needs to mobilize F-35s rapidly in emergencies. To prepare ground crews and pilots for such a scenario, a routine readiness exercise was conducted at Eelson Air Force Base, Alaska on March 25, 2022. During this demonstration, several F-35s taxied towards the runway and assembled in a unique formation. Another readiness exercise, known as checkered flag, simulates the employment of a large number of aircraft.
A similar exercise was conducted at Tyndall Air Force Base, where several F-35A taxied toward the runway and took off one after another in nose-to-tail formation. Such exercises increase the overall situational awareness of the fleet, allowing them to mobilize multiple aircraft during emergencies promptly. In addition to assembling in a unique formation on the runway, the F-35s, after being airborne, travel and maneuver together in a disciplined, synchronized, and predetermined manner. For instance, several Norwegian F-35s flew side-by-side -side with a NATO multi-role tanker transport Airbus A330 during exercise Cold Response 22. An elephant walk is taxing of aircraft right before takeoff while being in close formation. The term elephant walk dates back to World War II when large fleets of Allied bombers conducted attack missions involving up to 1,000 aircraft. The Elephant Walk prepares squadrons for wartime operations and enhances the ability of the pilots to launch fully armed aircraft in one mass event. The F-35B can take off from a short runway and land vertically. However, there exists a transport aircraft almost four times the size of an F-35 that can also operate from short runways. According to its specifications, the Boeing C-17 Globemaster can operate from runways as short as 3,500 feet and as narrow as 90 feet, even when the surface is contaminated with sand, dirt, or ice. This allows the U.S. Air Force to use a technique known as Minimum Interval Takeoff, or MITO, for scrambling all available C-17 at 12 and 15 second intervals, respectively. Before taking off, the C-17 performs an elephant walk to the runway, which allows the U.S. Air Force to launch a maximum number of aircraft. This is particularly useful if the ground base is expected to be struck with a nuclear strike, which would obliterate all aircraft at once. Rarely is the landing and takeoff of large aircraft given more attention than during training exercises like the Mobility Guardian event, where several air forces train together and practice drills for aeromedical evacuation, mobility support, and air refueling. During this exercise, Several C-17s taxi towards the runway while performing the elephant walk. The ability of these large planes to operate together and launch one after another is a testament to the skill of pilots, ground crews, and maintenance teams. Yet another aircraft known for refueling, rather than transporting, is the KC-135. This cargo aircraft provides the core aerial refueling capability for the U.S. Air Force 
and has excelled in this role for over 60 years. The U.S. Air Force conducts what's known as the Extreme Weather Exercise to showcase how tankers and cargo aircraft can perform elephant walks at the same time. During a demonstration at the McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas, one KC-135 and eight KC-46s lined up and took off from the runway one after another. This demonstration glorifies the capability of the U.S. Air Force to accomplish its primary mission of global reach. Moving away from cargo aircraft, brings us to some impressive bombers, like the Northrop B-2 Spirit, an American heavy strategic bomber that features low observable stealth technology that can easily penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. It was specifically developed for the United States Air Force's vital penetration missions, allowing it to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy ordnance. The blend of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and a large payload provides B-2 significant advantages over other bombers. The B-2 bomber is stored in a wide hangar bay and is positioned in a specific configuration to facilitate loading operations. B-2 bombers can carry both conventional and nuclear weapons. A specialized team of munitions airmen follows strict procedures to handle the munitions safely and accurately. For the initial steps, the airmen must use bomb lifts and trailers to transport munitions from the storage to the hangar bay. The airmen thoroughly inspect the munitions to ensure they are functional. B-2 bombers have various designated munitions loading points, including bomb bays and rotary launchers. The airmen physically mount the munitions onto the designated loading points of the B-2 bombers, following specific instructions to properly align, attach, and secure them. While the elephant walk is commonly associated with conventional aircraft, there have been instances where multiple B-2s taxied in close formation on a runway. These events are relatively rare due to the operational considerations of the aircraft. B-2 bombers conduct elephant walks for training purposes, readiness exercises, or special occasions. The elephant walk enhances the readiness capabilities of the B-2 bomber fleet and showcases the unique stealth design of the B-2 bomber. A B-2 bombing run refers to a strategic bombing mission conducted by the B-2 Spirit. Initially, the navigators, pilots, and mission specialists carefully plan the mission objectives. On the other hand, the air crew performs maintenance checks and prepares the B-2 bomber before takeoff. Right after, the B-2 bomber 
takes off from the runway and ascends to a high altitude to avoid the risk of detection. As soon as the aircraft approaches the target area, the crew employs advanced sensors to detect the target and potential threats. Once the target is identified and confirmed, the B-2 releases its precision-guided munitions. The coordination and preparation of the ground crew are pivotal in executing successful elephant walks and mobilizing each aircraft safely. In today's dynamic warfare, elephant walks play a crucial role in maintaining readiness, bolstering deterrence, and demonstrating the air prowess of the United States. Through these impressive displays, the U.S. Air Force showcases its ability to protect and defend the nation's interests. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.